Live, yeah, we're I don't see us live. I'll go to your channel. I have. Oh, you can hear me. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm already speaking. <laughs> Dreams hey, Grim Skull. I have a. Or are we supposed to be? Yeah. Speaking? Okay. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we're just playing the little bit of the intro while we're waiting for everyone to get on. Okay. Hi. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hi, everyone. Hi, Roy, Grimskull, Hugh, Demand. Yep, that's uh, Wit. Hey, Wit. Glad to see everyone uh, joining in on the show today. It's going to be a fun one, as we're going to be talking about Wednesday. But uh, I thought before we dive right in, just want to see. I'm prepared. She's prepared. I'm best I got is just like, I made my hair's black, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love the T-shirt. I mean, I, I, I saw it and I was like, okay, I have to have it before the show. So, yeah. Hmm? Exactly. But uh, no, I, I thought before we dive in, just wanted to, to hear how you're doing, Xanthi, and what's going on with you. So yeah, go. thanks. Uh, well, uh, great to be here again. I have been sick. I am sick. Uh, I, I was sick yesterday also, uh, the past few days. And uh, yeah, so you probably can hear my voice. Apologies, uh, but we will make the show as promised, but maybe keep it a bit shorter than usual. And yep. hopefully my voice will stay good. Uh, but we have a, prepared a great show. Robert, uh, you have uh, found some nice uh, <laughs> trivia and everything, and uh, so we're going to talk about Wednesday. But which one? So I well, thought we just one Wednesday. Sorry, yes. Well, I just figured we just go right into the the most that, right? that, yes. Well, we're going to talk about the Netflix show Wednesday, uh, that it is like the new, the most modern, the most recent reincarnation of the Adams family. And uh, on this one, it was Wednesday uh, on Focus, the daughter. There she is. Yep. So we're going to talk about that. And then, of course, we can discuss a bit about the past uh, shows, films and everything from the past, all the Adams family. So... Did you like the Wednesday show on Netflix? What did you think? I, I mean, I, I loved it. I uh, I was excited when you when we were thinking like for subjects to talk about for today. When you mm -hmm. mentioned Wednesday, like, okay. But I, I have to admit, when you said that, like, oh wait, I should I should make sure I, I watched everything. Of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Hi, I mean, think. <laughs> yes. So like right after you decide that, I think I like binge watched it like the next day or two, or so, just a so that's way it's kind of like still fresh in my mind. But mm -hmm. I mean, I. I mean, I love the program just because it it was like a it just kind of like reflect the time of when the, the show was done. It wasn't like I had I didn't know if it was going to be something that was a little bit dated, 
you know, like maybe mm-hmm. like would take place like a, a earlier um, decade or something like that. But for mm-hmm. them to, to keep it current, but you s- still honored the uh, the past uh, programs and incarnation. I, I, I thought it was well done. And I just and, and uh, General Ortega's performance really set the tone just because of how much she prepared uh, for playing the character as well as just mm-hmm. how she interacted. I, I thought it was great. She was great, and uh, I have to say, my my opinion is okay. I love the show. I like I liked it a lot. I was a bit I don't know why I was a bit hesitant also to begin with mm-hmm. because I was like, okay, Adam's family. Oh, I mean, I love Adam's family, but Wednesday a TV show? What is this going to be about? Uh, because I would prefer to see something with Morticia, you know. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but of course, uh, Christina Ricci was a very nice surprise that she plays mm-hmm. also on the show. And when I started to watch it, of course, I was excited. Of course, I was excited. But I was a bit, there was something in my brain that was like, hmm, is this going to be good? But uh, Tim Burton, yep. of course, behind uh, the scenes that I wouldn't have missed it just for that. And I have to be honest, the slight negativity that I had on the first episode, it was, okay, Adam's family, Wednesday, goth, everything, the school. And, but it was just that. And I was like, oh, no, school, high school kids. I, I mean, am I going to enjoy it? Am I going to relate? But, yes, it's not so much about the high school. There are so many more things going on. So it was great. That, But that was my uh, initial uh, uh, impression but then i just what's the whole thing oh well not in one go but like yeah very fast yeah i mean the fact that they it took place in uh, in the nevermore academy um i it it certainly opened up it, it almost like it kind of remind me of the idea of like the whole world world building concept just because they're introducing new characters in that realm and they took mm-hmm. so much uh, less emphasis of the family, but just focus on on Wednesday's a character. So, I, I thought it was an interesting take, just because, um, because like, because Wednesday the the character is is so unique in terms of a stark contrast as as the family where she's like. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think uh, your audio is a bit. Uh, speak again. Oh, can you hear me now? Say something. Testing. Yes, a bit closer to the microphone. Yes, oh, okay. yes. <laughs> no problem. So, no, I, um, wh- what it was that uh, I, I thought it was an interesting choice that the show was focusing specifically on Wednesday. Otherwise, why would they call the show Wednesday? Which I, I, I totally yes. get. But yes. I, I think yes. it, it was interesting that although Jen Ortega was the, the main character, the fact that the supporting cast, I think they could hold their own. But at the same time, it just in- add an interesting dynamic mm-hmm. because you're learning the new characters, but also they also play off well uh, with with Wednesday mm-hmm. and just to see her interact where you don't really see much of it in earlier um, incarnation of, of the program or, or the characters. So it was it was a nice uh, change of direction. So I mean, the fact that they, it was at, at the academy, I, I thought it was almost like a, a nod to like. Um, just like the past other types of programs where it's either in a school academy or just where there's a lot more, dare I say, uh, younger uh, folks there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, yes, yes, but, younger. Make it more plausible. The youngsters. Exactly. So yeah. um, yes. so I, I think just a lot of different choices and the way they went with it, it it, it was a lot more palpable. It didn't just seem like it was just kind of like pell-mell, like, okay, let's, mm. let's throw in a school and stuff. No, it was a nice plot, and uh, Roy made a comment like I didn't recall Pugsley being so passive as a character. It's a great, it's a great comment, but I guess uh, maybe they did it like that. Uh, that was the intention since it was all about Wednesday. But yeah, he was a bit. Um, and he, he he was kind of a pa- passive, but wasn't he a bit more naughty? Isn't he supposed to be more like? Well, I don't remember so much, but yeah. I know, like, whether it's in the movies or TV show, that anytime uh, Pugsley and Wednesday would get together, it seemed to be like in a, in a compromising position, like you'd see him like in the guillotine or or maybe like in like one of those strapped in like electric chair, and like Wednesday's about to do something, yeah. but they never really like, yeah. you know, complete the act. So <laughs> I, I can yeah. see how they just kind of like, well, you know since he's kind of easy pushover let's make him you know let's play up for it so yeah so it didn't it wasn't too much like a uh deviate from 
Uh, mm-hmm. I think it just kind of like maybe went heavy on that just to play off of uh, Wednesday's uh, um, bold, maybe uh, aggressive uh, uh, playing, if you want to call it, with the Pugsley. <laughs> Let's call it a nice balance between Wednesday and Pugsley, you know, like the energetic teenager girl and the more passive preteen. He is in his early teens in that, I guess. I don't, yeah. Mm. But, uh, and the rest in peace, Lisa Lauren, by the way, the original Wednesday. Yes. And you saw, you said that also. Yeah. Mm. It was just a well, surprise that they the, the get the notification about, uh, about that. Um, today on our show yeah. today <laughs> I, was, I was like i don't know if that's a good sign to, for before the show but okay we'll, we'll go with it <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly mm. but uh, but, uh mm-hmm. yeah no i mean um what, when i was like trying to check like the like the the, the cast like of a wednesday um i know there's at least one that stood out that was like from a previous uh incarnation of uh of the ad family or or the movies which was a uh, uh, christina ricci there which i thought which was pretty yeah. cool i mean only for that i would have watched it just for christina ricci because you know i am that generation i was like a kid or closer to her age when she was portraying wednesday so i'm closer age-wise to christina ricci so i could relate to her and, and I was very curious to see what kind of characters he would play because okay you see her at the beginning oh I'm the mother of the dorm the dorm mother what it's called I'm like yeah right <laughs> let's see where this is going to be <laughs> like yeah uh, but you had a very nice image I don't know if you can bring it if it's not too much uh, trouble the image with all the cast of this uh, yep uh, this is a little bit of a sneak so, preview of the of the of the trivia contest we have for all the audience members. But let me get pull up the I picture. Mean, be, yes, because we have big names. I mean, we have Catherine Zeta Jones, Luis Guzman, if I say his name correctly, and then Christina Ricci and Gwendolyn Christie from Game of Thrones. We have big names, right? Right. I mean that that was that was and the kids did a great job. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh no, I was just. Oh right. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, like when I heard Gwendolyn Christie, like. Like, why does that name sound familiar? Then when they talk about Games of Thrones, like, okay, so. Uh, yes. Cause... She, she was very nice in uh, Wednesday. She did a great job. Yeah, it was kind of funny that when they were talking about the show, I mean, they did reference, you know, like how she looked so different uh, when she was in, the, on, in Game of Thrones. And I don't know, like, what interviewer she had spoke to, but she had said that it gave her a chance to be a lot more... Uh, play out more on a, on a, a feminine side than someone being more aggressive like was she felt more pretty or beautiful yes like that and well yes he was not dressed in heavy armors and slaughtering <laughs> everyone in her uh, path she was dressed very smart you know nice hair too you know like a principal like a uh, not principal what is the name a dean she was a yeah. dean or principal or dean yes exactly you know. I think just because like the, the the type of character she played, I mean, it made sense just because that she had to be a lot more. I don't know if I would say authoritative, but just someone that was very that could play yeah. both the stern, yeah. but also with the, with the, but not too not too stern. Mm-hmm. And I thought she played off well with the uh, Ortega. Although, well, I better not uh, spoil too much. But just it'll be interesting. Spoilers, in, yeah. In next <laughs> next season, as to whether if we learn from or anything, so. Uh, oh yeah there is going to be a second season right yeah they announced it i think last week that uh, a season two is coming up and i i thought uh maybe that might open the door uh some things that we didn't see in season one one of which uh cousin it wasn't in there you only see him like like spoiler um you only see like a painting of him but um so maybe like this this will give a chance to uh see see where mm-hmm. it was and maybe I haven't read anything. I don't want to read. I don't. I don't even want to spoil me of the like teasers of season two. Yeah, they haven't. Other than them yes. making the announcement, that that was about it. So okay. So I'm, I'm just mm. as much in the dark as you are. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> what did you think about uh, Morticia Adams and Gomez Adams? Because it has been a controversy, or you know. Well, I, I think what was interesting. Hi, Golden Coin. Hey, Golden mm-hmm. Coin. I think what was interesting is that when and pardon me this the like 
sound like an uh an old fogey when they first introduced the adams family it was it wasn't most people thought it was like the tv show but it was actually originally introduced as a cartoon in the new yorker and so yes Mm -hmm. yeah and so so charles adams uh i think you know it it, the the ethnicity uh, the ethnicity I can't pronounce it. Ethnicity. Thank you. Uh, Ethnicity. Yes. Wasn't as brought up as prominent mm-hmm. as it was when you first saw like the, um, like the the Adams Family movie, and then especially in Wednesday, the casting of uh, uh, Luis uh, Gomez as like um, Hispanic, right? Hispanic, yep. more Hispanic, Latino. yes, and mm-hmm. uh, and more Latino. Morticia. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I thought it was it was a, a cool casting uh, of her. I. I loved Catherine Zeta. I don't know. I don't know. I, I if the, if there are haters, but I I love the cast. I loved Catherine Zeta Jones, and I think that uh, what's his name Gomez. I I forget. Always forget his name. Uh, where is it? Uh, Luis Go- Luis uh, Gomez. Uh, Luis Guzman. Guzman. Yes, <laughs> Guzman. Guzman. Uh, he did a great job. It's I think. Yeah, yeah. Because like I I think it was it was it was interesting just as to how much he interact with uh. With Morticia Adams because they're both very, I guess, amorous or hands-on, however you want to describe the, the relationship. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> like I'm always being. Yes. Yeah, the, the, I mean, it was it was yeah. more like understated. Like he didn't have to like really play it that heavy, but you could see that um, he was uh, honoring the character just because of how how much he how much he was closer to to Morticia. Uh, dare mm-hmm. I say, uh, idolizer. So it was it was. Uh, it was an interesting twist to, to see that as well as how it kind of played into the plot. I'm going to be careful to be spoiler, but so, so the see the things interweave between the, the show and the characters of it, I, I thought it was well done and pretty interesting too. Mm. Do we have any, you say trivia, you have done some trivia investigating. Do, where, where do we okay, so, take it? So we'll take it from yes. the images that we see here. Oh, yes. So, let me just uh, advance to the next uh, image there. Right. So okay, so you can see I try to use the, the font. So if you can't make it out, one says A, B, and C. Mm. And remember, this is uh, Wednesday trivia. So the question here is: Yes, I liked it that it was a what uh, says as a murder mystery, and that is what separated and made it worthwhile, and not stick to like kids, yeah. youngsters in a high school drama. So uh, that yes, it, it kind of reminded me like when you mm. mentioned you were interested in watching Buffy, the fact that it was like a murder mystery involved. <laughs> Buffy's <laughs> is a different. Oh my I god! I know. Yes, <laughs> but just like some of the episodes, my my memory of Buffy is a little bit hazy. But I know like there were some episodes that had the kind of like a, a slight mystery type of uh, like some of the shows. There is always some sort of mystery and death and uh, creatures and killings. It is it is morbid as well. And just to have a small parenthesis, I don't know if I said it before. I was talking about it with my brother when I was on holidays okay. and his wife, he was making fun of us like, what? Buffy, this is, it is so cringe and silly. And I was like, <laughs> yes, it is. But that's the point. I mean, it is cringe to watch it now. But back then I was I mean, when I saw the first episode, I was like, oh, my God, this is really how I was in the 90s in high school. Yeah. I was like that when it came out. I was just finishing high school. So I was on my way to college. But the whole aesthetics, the dressing, uh, the I was not like into the as goth yeah. back then or like dark. Right. So uh, I'm watching Buffy and I can relate with the fashion, which is horrible to see it now. It is horrifying uh, and cringe, but that's a different subject. Right. So, <laughs> I, I mean, I cannot relate. I can relate only because I have been there in nostalgia. But yeah. Not in, yes, that. Buffy was so awesome. Yes. No worries. <laughs> no, it's just it's just like some of the topics you mentioned kind of remind me of an earlier comment uh, you had, you had yes. mentioned. Yes, yes. But Okay, so... Mm-hmm. The trivia, trivia I have for everyone yes. here. So you, if you saw, if you remember the early image, it's the question as to whether if you can match the names that you see here: uh, Lisa Loring, Jen Ortega, or Christine Ricci. Christine Ricci, excuse me. Christine Ricci. So, yes. Uh, yeah. w- which one is A, B, or C? So just let me pull up the early one. So there you go again: A, B, and C. And if you can match the names, 
with the image. That's that's to back the name. Yes. Yep. So are they supposed to watch the? No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. It's too easy. Uh, oh, let's see. Can you make it? <laughs> Can you guys figure it? Yes. Um. Well, since I I, I made it, it wouldn't be unfair for me to answer now, but. We'll give uh, give uh, yes. the audience and you a, a chance to uh, take time, or if you if you need the or time. Or which one, or which one mm -hmm. has played in more than one? <laughs> which we are, we have already said it. Which one of A, B, or C has appeared? Uh, yeah, Lisa I... Loring is black and white. C. Jenna is A, and Christina is B. And give that man a prize because that guess is that's correct. C. Of course, it's correct. Yeah. And See, B go. has appeared in more than one. Yes. Shows. Which actually may be uh, a hint of the next question I have everyone. Oh my god, did I spoil it? I didn't know the question. No, no, Guys, no, I didn't you... know the <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No, 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 no. Because like it actually is a perfect segment, which was of the actress you saw earlier. Oh. Can you name where they first appear? So the first one is the movie The Adams Family Values. Uh, well, actually, not not necessarily first, but just if you can match the the genre with the uh, the actress. Uh, the first one we have listed is movies uh, Adam's Family Values. Second mm -hmm. one's Netflix Wednesdays. If you watch, if you heard early comments, that might be a big mm -hmm. giveaway. And the TV uh, version of it, which is the Adam's Family. Okay, uh, let me. I want to say something, Robert. Don't take it the wrong way. You also yeah. mentioned it yourself. I know. I <laughs> I applaud your effort that you did that. But yeah, the fonts selection could have been somewhat clearer. <laughs> yeah, believe me, you, you should have seen the earlier draft. <laughs> oh my God. So but that's why he looks like he's a very a huge fan. Yeah. So yeah, Christina in Adam Family Value, that's one. Jen on Netflix, yep. And TV was Lisa, that's correct. Yes, so yes. let me just pull it up for everybody here. And Adam's Family Value, is that the second movie? That's the second movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With Christina Rich, yes. And then I've got a different one. I'm not sure if everyone might know this one. So, uh huh. Okay. So it says, which actress has voiced Wednesday's Adam in an animation? So your choices are A, Tara Strong, uh, B, Winona Ryder, C, Jennifer Hale, or D, Chloe Grace uh, Moretz. Well, listen, I know Jennifer Hale. She has voiced Commander Shepard in Mass Effect, and she has voiced. Oh my God! Um, she's doing the. But uh, I, I want to say baguette, but that is correct. The wrong. That's not <laughs> bayonet. <laughs> not baguette. Oh my God! I'm so sorry. Bayonet. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Yes. Uh, <laughs> That was funny, or at least I yeah. Uh, so she has a more deep voice. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know that. Okay. I'm guessing. Tara so, Strong. I know that name. Why not a writer? So Roy guess. So we have one guess for Winona Ryder. Is it? Uh. Oh my god, I have no uh, idea. Let's see if someone's gonna jump in before I reveal it. Myself for not knowing. <laughs> Well, I mean, it was kind. Of, it was a. It was fun to the research uh, about the the show mm -hmm. and, and TV. So, uh, so when I saw that, I, oh, that's that, that's interesting. Um, I actually got another another fun trivia fact that uh, I, I found out that would that really threw me for a loop that I think people might find interesting. Okay. Um, okay so let me uh, ask the question again for everyone: uh, Which actress has voiced Wednesday Adams in the animation? A. Tara Strong. B. Uh, Winona uh, uh. Ryder. Roy is cheating. <laughs> ah, Roy! C, Jennifer Hale, or D, Chloe Grace Moretz. Before we go to what the Roy might find out, uh, do you want to take a guess before I reveal the answer? I, I completely guess. I'll go with Tara Strong. Completely guess. Okay. All right, so here's the answer, everyone, before Roy's wallet. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's Chloe! Yep. Grace says, oh, it's her. So it's D. Yep. Oh. I think, I don't know if it was like two years ago or maybe 2017 when they released a recent animation of it. She voiced Wednesday Adams. And I oh. believe uh, Oscar Isaac, who you know who was in Star Wars as Poe, he voiced uh, Gomez Adams. And they had Charlize Theron as uh, 
Morticia, which I thought was interesting. What? I didn't know that. I have to watch it now because of the cast. It's amazing. Okay. Okay, we had Kristen had guest yes. C. And oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. Okay, so that so that was the <laughs> that was a trivia. So, that, that was a trivia. So let me uh oh, that's great. Where oh there it is. Mm. There we go. So yeah, so it was um it was pretty interesting to, to find that out. But here's here's something that I, I didn't know. Um right after the TV show went off the air, they brought it back slowly uh, and one of the incarnation was an animation that they had appeared at a, in a Scooby Doo episode. And they actually brought the cast back to voice the mm -hmm. uh the uh the the characters, but then a later iteration, they weren't able to get everyone back. But what I found was interesting that one of the voices for Pugsley uh, in the animation was actually uh, Jodie Foster when she was 10 years old. And what? Like, yeah, I know. It's, it, it totally blew me away. I'm like, is that right, Jodie Foster? But yeah, she. I don't. Okay. Ha I couldn't find a clip of of uh, of a, of her voicing Pugsley, but it really threw me for a loop to, mm -hmm. to hear it. Because like um. I guess a kid's voice. Well, I guess it can be. Yeah. 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 Because mm. I know it's not uncommon to have like uh, female actresses to voice like uh, boys' uh, cartoon voices. Like, uh, I I'm trying to think of like what was a good example of that. Because I know um, Tara Stronghead did one. Um, I know like she. <laughs> she Tara Strong. But her. she had voiced Batgirl in the Batman animation series. She did the voice of Bubbles. In, uh, right, Buffalo. that's how I know her. It's yeah. Bubbles. See these yep. Bubbles. That's why I know her because I know yeah. that name. And sometimes she would play like uh, yeah, I have like... pajamas with Powerpuff Girls. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, so... I do. Yeah. So when I think about that, like, okay, that makes sense for for Jodie Foster to be Pugsley voice. But it was it was it was pretty it was pretty mind blowing to to read that. I'm like, okay. Mm. Yeah, and 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 John Aston, yeah. Memorable as Gomez Adams for sure, definitely. But uh, yes. but yeah, I, I think um, I'd be interested because I know like we mentioned that cousin. Spoiler. Actually, let me see if I have something to indicate that. Oh, here it is. Uh... You're putting the spoiler sound. Spoiler. So yeah. if you don't want to be spoiled, mute. Yeah. So we had mentioned that you can yes yeah I got it. <laughs> and I was like Ugh. all right I gotta fix that so we had mentioned that it wasn't physically in Wednesday but we didn't see the grandmother uh, on the on the show either so I'm wondering like yeah. if she might appear in season two yeah. that 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 would be interesting. I mean, but, we will probably see uh, more characters that didn't appear on the first season. It's only natural, I guess, to see the ones that we haven't seen. But so, if you were the, like the 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 casting director, like who would you want to play the, the grandmother, or better yet, it? Oh no, I don't know. I, that is a hard. <laughs> that is a very hard question. The grandma. Oh my god, that is. Uh... Well, uh, who is one from the the one from the? Um, oh, we take the. My brain is not working, guys. Uh, uh, Hocus Pocus. Oh, uh, Bette Midler. I'm not thinking of Betty Midler, but the other, not Sarah Jessica Parker, the other one, the more what is it? Red brunette, red hair. Uh, Jessica uh, Parker. No, no, the other one. Uh, the Kathy and Jimmy. I think it's her. That's her name. I have Is to her? Google. Okay. Where's the cast? Uh, Hocus Pocus cast. Oh, Google has. Uh, <laughs> Betty Midler. But if they ask if they were who? Do, yes, who could Kathy like... na Jimmy or yeah, I guess. Oh, that's what she came in. Well, Betty Midler would be also great with the you know crazy hair and everything. I guess. I don't huh. know. Glenn Close would be fantastic. Yes, yeah. I, that, that's a good Actually. choice, Kirsten. That, that, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Yes, I know. Like, um, I don't know if like if uh, if the if the grandpa was uh was was he in the movies? Uh, the Yuri, hi Yuri. 
Would you say, uh, I, I had something in my mind, I wanted to say something about like the overall experience that I found this Wednesday a great uh, nostalgic, great plot, it, uh, suitable for all ages, I guess teen, not teenagers, youngsters, okay, there is some blood and gore, not, not too young, but young adults could enjoy it, I mean also yep. the fashion of the clothes, but uh, older generations like us can enjoy this show because besides that the fact that it takes place in a high school or a college or whatever it is, there is a, a lot of things that we can relate to. And the nostalgia also is a big part of it, just for the that alone. The videos adult went the Adam screen videos. No. No. Oh. No. Link us. Gladly. I'm uh, I'm good, Yuri. I am a bit. Uh, I'm still sick. You know, the voice is starting to fade away. <laughs> but uh, I'm good. Thank you for asking. <laughs> We're hanging in there. Yeah. So R Roy mentioned something that uh, actually he he was reading mine because I was thinking that before uh, oh. they they had aired on TV, they didn't have any names. Like they were just. It was just a like on the comic series. on the cartoon they didn't have names no they didn't the cartoon was just like one of those like one panel images you see in the new yorker so mm -hmm. like a stand up so the so the the creator uh, charles adam didn't have name for the characters it wasn't until like when they had started the show that they had to come up with names and they start filling like backstories for each character okay uh, what was what was interesting is that um i don't know if like for each iteration but the the character Morticia uh, Adams was based on Charles Adams' wife. Now, I think Makes he sense. was married two or three times. So, which <laughs> one? Then sure. we don't. Yeah, know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, okay. So, but 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 what I heard was, I guess his second wife somehow she got like part rights of the show. So I think when they started to move from the TV to the movie, they. Took some uh, finagling to be able to get the rights to be able to show the movie. So when I read that, I'm like, oh man, that's the moral of the story. If you want to do something that might give you royalties or stuff, I don't know, check with the lawyer if you have had three wives. <laughs> <laughs> like that can be, or three husbands for that matter. I mean, it goes both ways. Just be, just three mates. Fi yeah. Fix your paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. So yeah, so so they learn that no characters, names, and then the the inspiration oh. for each characters, and to learn all that, it was, it was pretty interesting. One thing I thought was funny is that, and I'll, and I'll I'll just I'll ask everyone this because I didn't really think much of it, but I I, I did it did I was wondering is the character um, thing huh? is thing right handed or left handed? I'm trying to think now. <laughs> By the way, the hand, it, it was great the way they did yeah. it. I think it was amazing. It was so uh, cool. They hired like a character. I, I mean, like an actual. It is right. It has to be right. Or is it right? Or. Yeah. It, it, it was right. right. Ah, yeah, you did that. Yes, yes. <laughs> right. That is a they, good uh, uh, question. Yeah. It was, what was funny is like on the TV show, Whenever you saw a thing, he was like in a box, so you didn't see anything else. Mm -hmm. So they actually had the character who portrayed um, Lurch. He was also Thing. So he was wondering if people were paying attention. So there's one episode where he, he played Thing left-handed, and no one had said a thing about it. <laughs> oh, it was yeah. okay. I guess those details, not everyone. Some people might notice, but they, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either, but I just like I, I had always wondered like, well, I mean, it wasn't until like in the movies you saw a thing outside of the box. Mm. And I'm like, well, wait a minute, was he left or right? And then the, then I learned it was question. right. <laughs> like yeah, I, yeah. I mean it was just it was just on a lark. I was like, oh, wait a minute, I gotta find out. But but what was interesting is that the, um there was actually some controversy to make uh uh thing 
to escape from his box because they said that I think people were concerned that when thing walked around, it looked like a spider the way he mm-hmm. was like, mm-hmm. and they thought that would kind of like I don't know if it was like they were afraid that um, they would freak out the the younger audience and stuff like that, but. Yeah, because they, everything else, like just having a hand by itself walking around will not freak the younger audience. <laughs> yeah. So but okay, I mean, I agree. yeah. Oh no, I, I mean I, I totally agree. So and I think the the director had made similar comments saying that uh, it would just it would just be implausible just to keep the keep uh thing in just one location mm-hmm. without exploring. So it, it, they had to let it yeah. <laughs> free, so to speak. But yeah, but uh but I think What's even more fascinating is when I watched the behind the scenes as to like how they had thing in the movie. I thought they would use CG, but they didn't at all. It was just yeah. it was a real actor. That, in fact, um, when I was double checking the cast for the Wednesday, they list the guy who performed um, things, movements, and everything like that, just to give it give it life. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if it was his friends or something, but they said they could tell like if it was him that was being thing or someone else if they like watch a commercial or something like that so yeah uh, they people want you or joshua wants you to do the wednesday dance but you don't have to but uh, that's also a cool thing of that show the whole dance that this was a uh, uh, choreographed herself goth inspired of course but over exaggerated a bit but it was obvious that it was a uh, goth dancing inspired and then, yes, we are doing a, a show about Wednesday on a Monday. <laughs> we, we are. Anarchy. Anarchy on YouTube. Anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, listen, I know that we're having a great time, but... Uh, I know. I, we're going to let you go. It's, it's a weird uh, day because I am have a very bad cold and everything. So, um, it's time to... Yeah, wrap things up. But uh, uh, yes. No, no, I was gonna say like, uh, well, yeah, I, I was gonna, but I guess I had like one fact. That, but yeah, so we're just gonna wrap the show early. But um, folks, if you're interested, and just to assure you that the the music we played was royalty free, and uh, the uh, the artists just all they request is we just give them credit for the music. So that's in the YouTube description. So if you want to check it out. Hmm? just just check it out so i, I was pretty happy that it does hmm. exist one last uh uh trivia Thanks, before you Josh. before i go <laughs> yes. is that the adams family the song is actually on public domain the uh the creator uh i think vic vic Miz was the name who did the theme show for the Adams family um uh, that's great had, yeah so so just let folks know that the the actual <laughs> theme song is on public domain <laughs> we're safe we're good yeah we're good folks so because I know there's going to be one guy going like, mm. but on, on that note, um, Xanthi, I hope you feel better. Uh, we're Thank you so much. Up. Thank and, everyone. Uh, Thank you everyone for joining us today. Yeah. On and this uh, about Wednesday. Uh, yes. uh, on a Monday. On, on Wednesday. About Wednesday. Yeah. No, I love the t shirt. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right, folks. We're going to wrap up, and uh, if you got any questions or, or comments, leave it on the on the comments, and we'll, we'll look out for it, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you like it, uh, or if you know anyone that might enjoy it, please share, like. Uh, Give me the thumbs I mean, up and everything. That, exactly. That, yeah. too. Uh, uh, pl- please do. Thanks, Christine. And, and uh, we will uh, wish everyone a, a good day, and uh, we'll see catch you guys uh in about month, a guess. month yes as what we'll talk about well as we get we closer will see. to the show we'll see so yes okay all right take it easy everyone bye everyone <laughs>